Hiya guys, so am I about to eat some humble pie? Well, it's not uncommon is it for me, um, because I'm a bit erratic sometimes with my opinions. So I guess I'm going to eat a slice, maybe two, but not quite a full pie, because I just say how I see it. Don't mean I'm right does it? So this is an update on Martin, Karate Marty. Now I called him some things in the past but I didn't know much on him back then. I just associated him with Dirk. Um, he runs a fans follow me site as we know. And I will say one thing about that site. I used it in the past to buy some fights and I never had a problem. In fact, one fight didn't work and I got a refund. Um, I didn't even ask for the refund. I've still got it in my wallet anyway. Um, I think it's something like two quid. But the point is, I've never had any issues with that site. Now, I call the site sleazy and stuff, and it was, or it is. It's just like an OnlyFans want to be site. And I don't think it's going to make money like that because that market's taken. Now, I've had a look just before this video and it's changed a bit. It's coming away from that side of things. And I think maybe if he can get some combat sports material up there and go in a different direction, the site might do something. So... My opinion on that site, customer services is good. Content at the minute, there's no interest really for me, but I think they're rebranding it and that might change, so I'm neutral. I'm neutral with the site at the minute. Just drop my remote if you heard a bang. Um, my opinion on Martin... Obviously, I just associated him with Dirk and, you know, I call him, I pretty much thought he was a scumbag, to be honest. Like, but there's two sides to every story, but all I could see was Dirk and I just thought, what, you know, Martin, what the fuck? Anyone who wants to be friends with that man must be dodgy. And maybe Martin is dodgy. Um, but... My opinion has changed. When I say dodgy, I don't mean in the way that Dirk is. I just mean trying to make a few quid dodgy, businessman dodgy. They all are, right? The businessmen, the sharks. Anyway, I'm losing my trail of thought again. So, Martin's gone on to channels, not really to defend himself, just to put his point across. And he's come across as a very nice guy, patient as well, because one channel in particular just took the piss out of him. And that's unfair because he, he's willing to go on the channel and face the YouTube courts. He should be given a fair trial and a sensible one. And respect to Martin because he took it and he stood strong against it. Um, Dirk's crying because Martin didn't train with him. Well, he didn't train with him, but he was injured. And he he did have him in his house and he did feed him. Do you know, like, that's a bit like baby, isn't it? Wanting everything you're on where instead of looking at what people have done for you, that they can do for you. At that particular time. I've had very small interactions with Marty in comments. I know he's watched my stuff about him. Um, he seemed to take that well. Um, and he, he just seems like a nice guy. Now he could be a clever man and he could be playing us. He could be playing me and winning me over. He has won me over. And that's a clever man, isn't it? But 
the season of goodwill's coming in it so i think it's time maybe give him the benefit of the doubt because why not sometimes you just feel that way out don't you about a person and when it comes to the fight martin versus dirk well i don't know anything about martin i've not seen him fight We've all seen Dirk fight and we know he can take a beating, for sure he can. But at the end of the day, he's in no condition to fight anybody, is he? And he doesn't deserve the fight neither because he, he makes loads of money from that. Martin will too, but I, I think Martin you know, probably got enough honour to say, let's not make money from it. Um, well, I can understand him wanting to fight Dirk because of all the affair stuff, but now let's get this straight right. There's different scenarios. Martin could have had an affair. He could be in an open relationship. Dirk could be lying, full stop. But... At the end of the day, right, it's absolutely nothing to do with anybody. And that was such a scumbag move. Move, sorry. The scumbag, scumbag move for Dirk to, um, like, plaster that over YouTube. You know, it just shows the level of horribleness and vileness that he is. Like, that is nothing to do with anybody one thing i think is unfair is people asking martin to help chew now that's like saying to you would can you just leave your family for half an hour go and help this person you know not who has nothing to do with you and maybe risk 10 years in jail or getting killed would you do it I don't think you would. So it's unfair to put that on Martin because we know nothing about you. She she could she could be very happy with Dirk. She could be exploiting him. Um do you know we know nothing about her. We we don't we don't know if she's vulnerable. She's lived there all her life. She'll have people around her. Do you know? She won't be completely on her own, will she, in life? So it's unfair to put that on Martin, in my opinion. Um, we have to see how that plays out, don't we? I would like to think if she was in danger, then Martin could go to some authorities and maybe get some help for her. So... All in all, my my opinion on Martin has changed. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, not that my opinion matters. Who would win out of him and Dirk? Condition Dirk's in at the minute, Martin. Um, if Dirk was fit, I do not know. I know that... Martin would be going into the fight with his family's honour on his shoulders and Dirk would be going into the fight with no honour, no self-respect, as a total scumbag. And, you know, that's it. So I'd say give Martin a sub. Let, let's see what he produces. It's entertainment for him all. And actually, Martin, I wish you all the best. And I'm sorry for calling you a sleazebag.